our Shalom Akim, all praise, this honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rekakwadash, to honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, our leaders who taught us this truth, all right, uh, and uh, honor to you, uh, honor to the house of David, all right, the hopeful elect, you know, out here uh, pushing, man, out here pushing, enduring afflictions, you know, fighting, fighting through them demons, all right, and, and tributing to the ministry, all right, because you got a lot of guys that say that they believe, but they're not contributing to the ministry. All right, we're all ministers, okay, meaning to serve. So if you're not in the body, either you're all on the outside, taking down notes, okay, you bringing brothers water, are you watching the videos, you eat, you eating, are you supposed to be tithing, all right, to the particular camp, wherever city that you're in, all right, uh, help, helping out the ministry, man, all right, don't be an idle servant. All right, I just wanted to say that. But pretty much, you know, uh, uh, this lesson sparked from uh, another brother's lesson. Ultimately, the spirit hit me because uh, I was thinking about this the last couple of maybe a week or so, and then I was thinking about it today, but the spirit just hit me to do the video now about uh, how, how the people in America are through, man. All right, the, they're demoralized. They're utterly demoralized, and it's going to be more and more as the days, as the days of, of as the day of the Lord approaches, okay? As time goes more and more on, you're going to start to see that these people are done for. Now, I, you know, I work in the city of San Francisco a lot, and I mean every single person. There's a lot of foot traffic, especially around times of lunch, okay, uh, in the morning, and uh, during commuting t commuter times, you know, when people are getting out off of work around 3.30, 3.30 or 6, you know, that's where mainly people are walking. Uh, how, how San Francisco is set up, everybody does uh, uh, public transportation, or they Uber or they walk, okay? And all you see, every single person is done. All right, they got heavy demons on them. They're stressed out. Okay, <laughs> they're stressed out. They 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 look they look ugly. The women are becoming more and more uh, sluts or harlots or whores. The men are becoming more and more homosexuals. All right, and then dudes that are in between, they're just they're just stressed out, man. Everybody's on drugs. Everybody's on Percocets. All right, I seen an article today. I didn't go through it. I just saw the headline. How? There's a new drug, pretty much it's a uh, it's an opioid anti anti uh, antidote. All right, and the title pretty much read that people should start carrying around the drug company. All right, recommends people start carrying around this uh, opioid uh, antidote. All right, because uh, contrary to the contrary to uh, mainstream media, all right, there's a high level of, uh, of so-called, especially so-called white people or Edomites. Dying, all right, from uh, this this opioid uh, uh, epidemic. It's it's, sweep, it's sweeping the whole nation, all right. And they're trying to tuck it, okay. They're trying to tuck it. But going back to the point, these people, man, they're they're totally demoralized. Here's here it is. There's more war rhetoric, even in the mainstream media, okay. There's there's a a trade war with China. China just hit United States. I think today is the fifth. China. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. America might hit China with a, a, a extra hundred million in, in tariffs, man. All right, and China said they're going to respond. All right, they're not going to back down. All right, more and more nations are linking up through the spirit. All right, so as the spirit goes, as the spirit intensifies in war, as the spirit intensifies in race wars, trade wars, as that spirit of war intensify, the spirit, the spirit of these people, all right, is going to, it's going to, uh, 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 pretty much drop down low all right you're seeing it man everybody's stressed out everybody has to be on some type of uh uh stimulant some type of antidepressant some type of narcotic all right they have to uh, indulge themselves in food indulge themselves in, in wine and mirth all right but you're starting to see that spirit people are not enjoying themselves as they used to all right so i'm gonna read i'm gonna read this scripture here and just bear with me you know it's raining outside i'm in tra i'm in uh I'm in transit right now, man. But we're in a beautiful time because, you know, sometimes you'll get down in the spirit <laughs> and you just look at America, you look at one of these average Americans' faces and it'll brighten up your, it'll brighten up your spirit. Be like, man, I ain't doing too bad. All right, I got a roof over my head. I'm eating, you know. I got a job. You know, the Lord, the Lord first and foremost, the Lord is dealing with me, all right, and, and uh, to be able to give me this truth. So this is Isaiah 24 and 4. It says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth, 
and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Now let's look at this uh, this word languish, okay? In uh, in a blue letter. Uh, see, yeah, the blue letter is messing up, man. And a, and a side note, uh, I was talking to one of the brothers who was actually doing a lesson. I was trying to go into the blue letter. The spirit had it to where the blue letter started working right when we did the lesson. But before that, the blue letter strong concordance was going down my, on my app, on my phone, and on the computer. So, hey, don't be surprised if Esau rolled in the blue letter, okay? And I was telling the brother that right before the lesson. I said, hey, man, don't be surprised if Esau rolled on the blue letter, all right? He's going to try to roll on Jake. All right, but it's not going to stop. We, hey man, we got this. We got this. The, this word in, inside of us, Esau. So you can't. St you can't stop the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Okay. But it says language, man. You, these people are in a constant state of mourning. Okay, because the the whole spirit of America is totally is totally gone. Trump he tried to revive it with the with the with the chant of "Make America Great Again," when there was mirth in the street. Okay, meaning when the so-called white man was on top. And a black and Hispanic and Native American man was on the bottom, with all uh, 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 even under the uh, even under the other heathen nation nations. When America hegemony was at an all-time high, that's when Esau was proud. That's when Esau uh, 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 was just beating up, giving it to Jake. That's when he had his his grip on the whole world. Or right, he had his grip on global trade. He had his his grip on economics. He was destroying other uh, countries. All right, he was going into uh, invading different different lands. All right, Esau can't just go into these different lands now. All right, you got you got Russia that's got guard into all these other small nations. Our right, China is a, a a super a superpower now, man. They're an emerging economy. All right, they are the largest second class, okay, in in the world. All right, as far as as far as a uh, 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 GDP concern and a top economy, it's United States, China, and Japan. Okay, and then I believe number four is Germany. All right, so China, China's right there, not too far away from uh, America. All right, America's uh, 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 military is spread thin, and then and then America allows all type of manner of wickedness. See them Chinese, they still have some type of, they still have some of their laws in order. All right, they the capital capital punishment. All right, if you're caught dealing drugs in China, you get sentenced to the death penalty, or you get sentenced to a uh, uh, life of hard labor okay they're killing people out there man so you just can't just do whatever the hell you want in China it's a so-called dictatorship okay so but America allows this free this free world free love all right look what this has look what this has done it has totally destroyed from the foundation everything about America everything all right that perverse spirit uh, Isaiah 19 and 14 the perver the perverse spirit that is spread throughout the whole world. All right, it was uh, it was spread by by America, by America, uh, by America. What do they call capitalism? By America, imperialism. By America's democracy, which the script the scriptures call it the wine. All right, that wine. You 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 gave you gave all the nations that wine. Now the nations are angry. They're mad. All right, and the Lord He's raising up these nations to shoot missiles on you. All right, America. Okay. You're not going to be able to get out of this one. All right. So this is uh, verse five. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, the earth is defiled because the Edomites are ruling. I mean, that that's that's very plain to see. Okay. Who who uh, who? The scriptures say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. The scripture can say it better than me. And the wicked, the wicked is talking about that wicked seed. Okay. The wicked seed is talking about Esau, the Edomites, which are which which the Edomites, that's their biblical name. Their their uh their their name now would you be considered the so-called white man, whether they be British, American, Dutch, French, Swiss, okay, Australian, okay, Canadian, Russian, okay, German, Italian, those are the Edomites. Now you do have our people spread within those nations. But the so-called, as, as a mass, the Caucasian race, they're they are the they are the, the, the biblical Edomites. So the, the earth was given un, unto them, okay, to go and conquer, to go and conquer the whole nations, go go and conquer the whole planet Earth, and look what it has done. Everybody is in a rat race. Everybody is, is stressed out. 
everybody's glued to their smartphone. Everybody's catching cancer. Okay, they have all type of ailments. All right, this is the this is the worst time in history. Okay, this this is the worst time in history, man. To the point to where there's going to be nuclear war that's going to destroy whole nations, destroy billions of people. All right, the so-called white man is in charge of that. The so-called white man has the power to stop. But ultimately, he doesn't have the power to stop because he's set up to do this, man. This is all the plan of the Lord. All right? You, you Edomites are in a slippery place right now. That's why the scriptures talk about when the wicked are in rule, the people mourn, man. The people are in a constant state of mourning. All you see is uprising of the people. Now, now to the average person, they, they can't see because they're watching CNN. They're watching Fox News. But when you turn on to these, alt, uh, these ulterior... Alter, uh, alternative media sites or even not even alternative but media sites in these different countries okay you turn to the Italian news the, the Spanish news okay the news and in, 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 in different parts of Africa what's happening mass death mass uprising okay uh, 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 um, austeri austerity okay people people rioting People rioting because their wages are getting dropped. People rioting because there's no health care, there's no education. And they're starting to see, they're starting to pinpoint who the enemy is, is you Edomites, okay? It says, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the, uh, transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. So this is why the earth is all messed up because Esau has changed everything. See, the earth is supposed to be ran in a particular uh, uh, state. Are right, you supposed to honor land status? You're supposed to treat the animals a certain way. Okay, you're not supposed to just go and cut down trees. Okay, undiscriminately. undiscriminatively. Okay, you're not supposed to just do. You're not supposed to just go around killing people. See, because look, Esau. Uh, for every action, there's a reaction. Okay. Galatians six and seven. The Most High is not not. Uh, for whatsoever a man soweth, that also shall he reap. Okay, so if you if you if you sowed defileness, if you sowed unrighteousness, perverseness, this is what you're going to reap, and that trickles down to all the people. This is why the world is in a in a in a in a mass uprising against you. Even the earth itself is in a mass uprising, to a point to where it's it's, it's uh, uh these hurricanes are going to go come even crazier, tornadoes. Okay, more mudslides. Okay, more earthquakes to the point to where it's going to get so bad where you're going to lose control. Okay, because you have been a bad steward of the planet Earth. You think this this Earth is yours? You goddamn devil! You think you think this Earth is yours? You think you think you you deserve this? You can do whatever the hell you want to do. All right, but the Most High, he gonna he gonna show you he gonna show you who the real power is. He gonna show you, he gonna show you fear. All right, all right Esau, the Lord is gonna show you fear. The Lord is going to show you that you're just a man and you're not a God. Very soon, he's showing you right now, but like the scriptures say, evil man understand not judgment. Okay, Esau, you don't understand you, you, you catch a hell because you're wicked. You don't understand you're losing power because you're wicked. You don't even understand that because you, you're an evil man. All right. Therefore, has the curse devoured the earth. All right. They that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Yeah, that's right, that curse. You know, that, that curse is devouring the earth. All right, the curses are upon you, Deuteronomy 30, 30 and 7. Okay, the curse, when them chariots come, that's going to be a curse uh, in the book of Zechariah. Okay. All, all your uh, confederate armies are going to turn against you, and you're seeing that now, you damn devil. All right, you're you're you're, you're caught in a slippery place, Esau. Delete banking families. All right, all, none of your plans are going to work. All right, let me let me just let me just be the uh, the bearer of bad news. All right, <laughs> well I, I'm gonna be a bearer of bad news to the to the Edomites, okay, and a, and a bearer of good news to the Israelites. All right, to the house of David, the evangelist. All right, a bearer of good news. All right. And the Lord, he's balanced, so there's a bearer of bad news. Okay? The gospel. The good news. So it has to be good news to one people and bad news to the other. Here it is. All hell's about to break loose, man. And the Israelites, we're in a, 
we're in a state of mirth okay we're in a state of happiness why because it's one step closer to your red ass going into slavery and 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 uh and yahweh shai and his elect men getting getting their justice all right because the scriptures say second second thessalonians one and six it says it is a righteous thing with the most high the recompense the payback tribulation to them that that trouble you man all right so Esau, you have troubled us for the last 500 years all right you try to put us to death you did put us to death put us to slavery hardcore bondage all right and then you continue continually to put oppression upon us man every single day you oppress us and you speak evil you speak a uh, 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 loft lofty against against the most high okay you speak lofty uh, 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 against oppression. Okay, you say it's our fault. Oh, we should just get a job. That's oppression. You goddamn de getting a job is oppression. All right, that's a slave master to slave owner uh, 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 um, a relationship. Okay, we have to do whatever the hell you tell us to do for some fake ass money. All right, so we can go and um, um, buy fake ass food and get with a fake ass woman. All right, and get with a defiled and get and and, and, and be a, amongst defiled people. Oh, that's that's an oppression to a man that's wise. The scriptures say that a, a oppression make up a wise man mad. Okay, so you you have done nothing but oppress us as a people, and you continue to oppress us. So now that oppression's falling on your on your uh, in your lap. You now you're starting to drink that cup, and now you're starting to see. I mean, every time I see Edomite, he's defeated. His woman is all oh, men. You you be by uh, Edomite and his woman, you might go into a restaurant or you be at the gym or you might do something. She's just, she's she's literally looking at you in the eyes in front of him, man. Okay? She's on, she's on her, she's, she's like on a brink of just like divorcing the cup and getting with a, getting with a buck, really. Getting with a, a so-called black and Hispanic. And you see it all over her face, just, just lust. All right? So even your woman, your, your woman knows, see a woman, they, they're, they're, they're they're smart in wickedness, man. They know when power. They know they know who's about to have the power. And you're gonna see how they these 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 nasty ass women. They're gonna try to flock to the men of the Lord. Okay, including the white woman. All right. Including the mole by an Ammonite woman. All right. We see it through the spirit. All right. The, the scriptures say that a a a, a a a a spiritual man judges all things. Okay, so we we're judging. We're see we see that. We see that discretion. The, the 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 word discretion means the ability to make decisions. All right. <laughs> we see that, man. We we have that foresight, that prudence. Okay. Let me let me finish up. So it says so it says that there was few men left because that curse is going to devour you, man. The nuclear missiles. All right. It says uh, verse seven: the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth. All the merry heart do sigh. You Edomites are in a constant state of sighing. Because you really don't understand or get how the hell you losing power so goddamn fast. Like the scriptures say, evil man understand not judgment. This is the judgment of the Lord. Okay, the Lord, he built you up just so he can throw you down and show his power. You can read that in Romans the ninth chapter. Okay, look at the examples of old. Look at, uh, look at uh, Egypt. Look at Pharaoh. Look at Babylon, all right? Look at all these, these great kingdoms. They all they all had a time that, where they were at their pinnacle of power, and they all had a time where they rapidly uh, uh, dro dropped out of power. They were taken out of power by how? By violence. Thus, with violence shall Babylon be thrown down, uh, okay? So so nothing is going to come to this earth but violence. Because look, look how you have ruled. You have ruled in violence. You have ruled treacherously, okay? So if you ruled treacherously, the only thing that can be done to you is treacher, tre uh, treachery. Okay? The mirth of the, the tabret ceaseth. The noise of the the noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the of the harp ceaseth. Ceaseth. Alright? That joy that you, you see in America is sweeping across everywhere in America. Okay, not even five years ago, you can go out, you can go out to a bar, you can go out to a club, and people were partying like it was, like it was 1999, so to speak, man. But you don't see that same spirit. Why people are broke? They don't have enough money to turn up. 
all right and then and then uh <laughs> and then that that uh that that liquor layer that wears off them drugs wear off and then you gotta come right back to reality that you that you you're going down all right and the king is being translated all right and there's nothing you can do about it all right Esau all you can do is just all you can do really is just accept your judgment what you're going to try to fight not to drink of that cup but the Lord he going to force you to drink that cup just as just as we force just as the Israelites were forced to drink that cup we didn't want to drink the cup you think we volunteered to go into slavery oh uh, yeah white men go into slavery kill us rape us okay do have your way with us experiment us on us all right put us in ghettos give us GMOs do all that yeah I, I want that. that that sounds nice nah that's not the case okay so Slocky, Slocky, give me a second. That's not the case. It says they shall, they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. So even, even these, these substances, even this wine, even uh, liquor was supposed to make you merry hearted. It's not going to do anything for you, man. The scriptures say, give strong drink to him that is ready to perish. That's not going to even be enough. That's how much anguish this, this place is going to uh, 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 take. How much anguish uh, this place, how much anguish is coming to this place, Slaki. Where strong drink wine is not going to even do anything for you. These drugs are not going to even do anything for you. First of all, all that wine will be gone. Okay. All them drugs are gonna be gone. It's gonna be cut. It's gonna be gone. So you're gonna be bugging out because of that. Literally, you're gonna have to take hell head on, head on. You're gonna be clear-minded in that day. And now you, you're gonna remember everything. You're gonna remember everything. You're gonna be starving. Your your ribs are gonna be touching your back. Okay. You're gonna have to fast. You're gonna have to fast a lot. <laughs> not not willingly. It's because there's no food. Okay. You're gonna see your loved ones drop dead. All right, right in front of your face. You're going to see your loved ones get carted off into a concentration camp. You're going to get carted off into a concentration camp. And you're going to be like, damn, I thought America loved me. I thought the white man loved me. Well, the white man is even going to put hell on his own people. All right? So, so nothing, nothing is, is good coming here to America. Let me continue. It says, the city of confusion is broken down. What does the, the word uh, Babylon mean? It means confusion. Okay? You have all manner of uh, you have all manner of doctrines here, all manner of gods, all manner of ways of living, okay. Pretty much openness, perverseness, okay. Confusion. All right, there has to be order established. All right, if you're in a classroom and you have one teacher in front of you, your professor, he's teaching you a subject, and you have 20 kids that are all talking at the same time, trying to teach. Or try to do their own thing. How will, will anybody? Even there's one person trying to listen. Will anybody learn anything? That's confusion. So that's America. This is a big pot, a big cauldron of confusion. So it says the city of confusion. That's the whole city, the whole landmass of America. Okay, in its entirety, it's it's confusion. It says it's broken down. So so America is broken down, and you see that's being broken down piece by piece right now economically globally politically okay the educational system is bro being broken down our Esau is being exposed that's being broken down because because how is America how is America uh, uh, continue to uh, uh, have power It's by the trust in the people the American dollar how is it able to uh, have strength is in the trust of the people so when a trust of America when the the the, the, uh, the trust of the people is lost and all hell breaks loose all right because when because when people when people have no uh security what happens they bug out and they're going to be they're going to be looking to the the, the they're going to be looking to the the politicians they're going to be looking to the lawmakers for answers they're going to be killing them all right they're going to be killing their neighbor for answer because there's going to be no food you're oh the government will take care of me all these people on these entitlement programs which esau's in on all these entitlement programs all right, the white woman. Okay, that's all going to be cut off very soon. In the midst of that, you're going to have war. Are right, you going to be in the Middle East? Are right, you going to be spread through? You're going to be in the South China Sea. All right, no goods are going to be coming into this place because there's going to be a there's going to be a, 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 a there's going to be a, um shit. There's, it's, it's already happening. A trade war. 
All right, the, mo the, mo the most of the goods here in America are imported. Okay, so how the hell are you people gonna get your your your, your food? Okay, the farmers they're gonna have to go out of business because nobody's gonna be able to buy the crops. They're not gonna be able to be subsidized by the government. Okay, so so the farmers are not gonna be able to till the land. It's gonna cost the, the production costs because really farmers in America ain't really making that much money. All right. The production costs to, 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 to turn that uh to turn that uh that profit is gonna be so high that they're gonna go out of business. All right? And then there, furthermore, like soybeans, which they feed to a lot of these cows and these pigs and shit, China put a tariff on it. What, twenty percent? So now now the price of everything see, if you put a price especially on goods like that, commodities, if you put a price on one thing, it's going to have an effect on many other products. All right, that's what you people don't understand. This is, this is big. All right, this is going to affect the economy. Ultimately, the economy is going to, going to have to crash. Ultimately, Esau is going to have it's going to get so bad, he's going to have to bring in the chip. He's going to have to try to do a hard reset. Basically, what he's going to say is the market is going to correct itself. That's what happens. When, when things crash, they say it's the market correcting itself. All right, as Esau starting over... And, and, and going into going on to a, a, a different uh, a different system that blockchain that market of beast it says the city of confusion is broken down every house is shut up that no man may come in there is crying for wine in the streets all joy is darkened the mirth of the land is gone and 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 through the spirit we're seeing all the mirth diminish now you, of course, in pockets of America, there's still mirth. The scriptures do say, as in the days of Noah, right? They were eating, they were drinking, they were gi uh, giving marriage. So you are going to have pockets of America still, so-called doing good, all right? But overall, that's not the case, and we're we're starting to see that it's really hit, it's really hitting you people where it hurts. Or right, you got a president in there that you don't want. The the country is divided, all right? People people hate each other. All right, there's no love. There's no love in America. Here it is. You talk about love, but there is no love. Okay. So pretty much, man. Oh, let me um, let me finish this up. It says I'm gonna finish this last verse and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Verse 12. The city is, is is left desolation. In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. All right. Ultimately, when that when that nuclear destruction wipes out this place, man. All you Babylonians here, including two thirds of our people, because they're Babylonians, are you gonna get hit with that with that curse, man? You are gonna get hit with that that hot lava, that fire, okay? So all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Double honors to the apostles and elders. Peace and blessings to you brothers out there pushing His word. Shalom.